Men have ego. The world of men has ego, right? Three men come to your house, another man bows. Then guess who is bound? Somebody who has a promise over his life. That his descendants shall be as many as the sand of the sea. Somebody that God has promised to bless beyond reasonable doubt. He meets three ordinary men whose prophecies he doesn't know. Another man bowed to three men. You don't understand the ego here. Another man saw three men and bowed down. Maybe what will sponsor the promotion is just your act of loyalty to your boss. Say to I talked about respect. I talked about manner of talking. How to receive angels, right? Honor. People who honor people don't miss angels. Nobody feels honored and is not moved to release towards your direction. My dear, if you are waiting for the Lord Jesus Christ to come in person for you to honor him, you will never honor anybody. I was talking to somebody that day. I said, is it not interesting for us to know that God says he has treasures but in earthen vessels. What's an earthen vessel? A vessel made out of earth. Which means if you cannot honor an earthen vessel, you cannot have the treasure. Be delivered from the mentalities of all men are equal. All men are not equal. Because to one he gave according to the measure. To one, two. To one, two. To another, five. So it is clear to you now that all men are not what? All humans are not what? You will rise above that level the day you acknowledge in your spirit that there is somebody that carries something you need. And you've got to bow to it. That was the story of Abraham.